One of the main reasons why drums are so versatile is their frequency spectrum. If you think about a drum kit, it covers everything from the low end to the very high sizzle top end. And our listening frequency range is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, right? So if you look at, for example, I, I didn't write the numbers. It's all available on Google. I'll maybe write it next time. That is not the idea of the workshop, you know. So uh, the kick would be maybe 50 to 100 hertz or 40 to 80 hertz, depends on the kick. It's literally called the bass drum in a drum kit because it provides the bass. That's the low end, right? Then the very high is your uh, rides and your cymbals. Your cymbals higher than the rides because rides still have a midi, like a, not midi, but mid, mid quality to it, which cuts through a little bit more. So we could call that, uh, yeah, I mean, still it'll be highs, but then they also have what's called uh, overtones, harmonics. What that'll do is, for example, if you hit a cymbal, crash cymbal, the first sound you hear will be the stick hitting the cymbal, which is a slightly sharper sound. But then towards the end, what you hear is the sizzle of the cymbal. That's the high end. So this whole area is the high. And then the toms, the three toms typically, these are the low, mid to mid. So this is the higher, lower, lowest. And this is a low, mid tom. You all heard those sounds. In fact, oh, I have it, I have it right here. So. So right now I'm going from here to here. So then, and if you look at, this is the open hi-hat. This is the closed hi-hat. And typically what would happen is you can only play one at a time. So in pieces of music like Amit Trividi's early work, where he programmed a lot of acoustic drum kits, right? And I think those are mostly logic drum kits. So you'll hear that the basic principles of an acoustic drum kit have been followed. For example, if you have a crash or if you have two crashes, you will not have a hi-hat at the same time because a drummer has two hands. So those are just when you're trying to manipulate the listener into believing that this is a real drum kit. That might not be always the case. You might be doing electronica. By all means, have 10 crashes with 10 hi-hats. You know, but the point remains that we are starting, our starting point is a drum kit. Yeah. Now, can I ask you guys, because I need to start having my coffee, what are the other instruments you can think of that can do this, what I just told you? Piano. Yeah, good. Guitar. Yeah, good. Harp. Harp as well, yeah. Pipe organ, organs, so keyboard instruments. Yeah. Santu. Santur, low end uh, might be limited, oh. right? So I'm talking about like lo extreme low end to extreme high end. Okay. So some of those instruments, uh, you might not have the range of 50 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Ah, okay, okay. Right? So drums becomes a very unique horns. instrument. Horns. Sorry? Horns. Horn section then, right? I mean, then yes. you need the trombone to do the low end, the trumpet to do the higher. I'm talking about one instrument, not a section. So, I mean, drum kit is considered like one instrument in that sense. Now, yeah, so the answers you gave, piano, harp, uh, pipe organ, like I said, guitar. The thing about those instruments versus the drum kit is that they make a similar sound in the spectrum. I mean, a guitar, when you play it low, when you play it high, it is the, it's the same. It's a lower string. It's a higher string. In a kit, you have the luxury of having totally different sounds because you have different, actually you have different instruments. If you call them sub-instruments or, you know, parts of the kit. Snare is a totally separate thing compared to a bass drum. But then they have been married together in one thing. Drums itself is a very versatile instrument. Now, now when you take that to... Yeah, yeah, sir. Tabla can also fall in the same category, right? <laughs> but will tabla have something like a hi-hat ka sizzle? I mean, yeah, I know tabla can do the very no. ed edge of it, but it will not be high as. Yeah. I mean, the reason is I'm not saying that, you know, any instrument is better or worse. I'm just saying it's unfair that the drum kit is actually made up of different instruments. And then we call it as one instrument. Obviously, it has the leverage, it has the bandwidth. Now, BFD logic session, okay. There is a fantastic drum plugin called BFD. 
uh one of the best i've ever seen all the addictive and the superior and you know it just leaves them behind and just in its sounds and the way it has been designed it's not free i mean the, the bfd3 i'm talking about is not free there is a free part of bfd uh which you can download and that itself is not bad at all a general suggestion is that you don't have to start programming drums always from scratch because you have so many of these libraries i just showed you a free version so you get tons of these grooves now I, uh, let's say i don't like uh, the exact way it's going so i can change things so this one let's say I do that so you know and i can add one more thing after that there is i want to add something else in that gap so all right thing to remember normally in good libraries that's already taken care of but i've seen enough midi which i have bought off the you know internet where the velocity is all 100 you know all mm. the same now that's a big big no no because uh, that's not how we play drums that's not how we play music that's not how we sing So if you see here yeah the velocity is already taken care of it's it's not even randomized it's actually correct for you know it's high it's loud and soft so if i see that i'm like okay this makes sense but i still what i do is if i see this velocity is 127 and this is also 127 this is also 127 then i start changing them because i feel you know they have done their job they've given us a groove now we can't be spoon fed everything but what i will almost always do in professional work make this maybe 120 make maybe make this 122 uh, this i need loud so maybe i'll make this softer uh, i change things and now you might say i can't even hear the difference but th when things add up over time and add up vertically uh compression comes in limiting comes in things anyway are more you know squashed in sound then your velocity is the thing that makes the difference because velocity is how hard you hit something it is not volume it's not output volume right so it's really important to have your velocity mapped in a way that it's not static definitely please don't do like you know all the same numbers that sometimes happens in some libraries and if you still feel that you know okay what you're looking for is totally different just I mean I play and I play in real time and I record and if I can't do something I add it later but you can also just what you can do is let's say if you're not a drummer so right I mean know the drill right and then I can make a I can make a layer in a multi channel I just make another track and then you know i record that so yeah this is very basics so just wanted to talk about bfd rather than programming at this point but do get it it's really good and on an unrelated point uh labs is really good spitfire labs spitfire labs is also free a, a huge collection is free so do get that try it for free decide whether you like it or not it's like that otherwise spitfire has tons of really amazing and really expensive libraries also so this is what i wanted to show you Now at this point I'll just pause uh just have a quick look at a at your chat on the face of it looks similar to superior and easy and addictive yeah um because they all follow a similar kind of a playbook right you see a drum kit even logic logic has its own drum kit same thing it just makes it easier if you can see the drum kit in terms of acoustic drum programming uh so now that we are talking about logic I just wanted to ask like how Like, have you tried the drummer feature and like how useful is it in actual actually we are working on on some project oh it's amazing drummer is fantastic because there is so much different drummers different grooves drummer is outstanding and it's uh, i think it was the first one doing that i don't know anything else that is like drummer uh, there must be i don't know because i don't know all doors but drummer is like well, yeah we use it also because you can get things in place and then convert that to midi and then you're back to your you know like a midi programming thing right exactly yeah so oh, it's really good we do use it a lot now okay now coming back to what a drum kit does right so there's the rhythm side of things 
rhythm or groove dynamics is your loud versus soft and as you would have seen ghost notes the way you have uh, flams uh, even fills your velocities are not the same so when you're playing the dynamics play a big role the crashes for example crashes uh, punctuate transitions you know uh, rides rides would highlight a different section maybe your pre chorus has rides and your chorus or uh, your verse has closed hi hats and your chorus has open hi hats very standard kind of an organization that's used so i wanted to ask you guys rhythm is the same as groove what do you think i mean when we say rhythm and when we say groove forget about the fact that rhythm can be tabla and groove can be drums it's not that the idea of rhythm and the idea of groove how do you understand it groove is a pattern okay yeah okay it's partly a, yeah partly you're there groove is a pattern okay um i think the rhythm uh, is more like a framework and groove represents some kind of motion uh, okay more accurate i think than the first answer shubham yeah tell me yeah i was going to say the same the repetition yeah. of a pattern maybe is is like is a groove is a groove okay i think uh, groove is a little bit of a swing to it and uh, yeah so that's different from rhythm rhythm is like um, you know having a certain pattern and it also keeps changing through the song but it's in a framed time signature Correct. rhythm this is the closest answer to you know what i have in mind uh, joy yeah tell i think groove is uh, how the pattern is played is it how the rhythm is interpreted is it laid back or is it as right. in right on the grid or here right. and there as in the way it is played right so the reason i asked this question was very specifically because sometimes these things are understood or discussed or even uh, applied interchangeably but they are not they are actually quite different so like some of you answered correctly and some of you answered uh, what was here there and what was there here but you picked the points correctly rhythm would be the arrangement of sounds in time so it could be how long a note plays where it plays within the time uh, frame of you know within the time signature um it would be the foundation of you know timing tempo now what's a tempo tempo is directly linked to timing the way we understand it like the clock because bpm is beats per minute literally the clocks will, the clock will go one minute and how many beats will play so you can divide the duration of a beat into milliseconds right so rhythm would be all the nerdy uh, stuff that you can calculate prasoon ha tell me okay so as i was about to raise my hand for the rhythm and groove but hmm yeah it got raised right now that's fine oh, okay okay but what did you want to say the same thing like a uh, uh, rhythm i wanted to say like it's something uh, you know fixed are uh, now you have seen it here ऐसा नहीं होता है वंस आई शो इट देन लाइक कि मैं ये कहने वाला था आई वाज जस्ट हैप्पी दैट आई वाज थिंकिंग इट ऑन अ राइट वे या सो या सो आई थिंक वी अंडरस्टैंड इट बट जस्ट दैट मे बी समटाइम्स वी प्लेस वन इन द अदर दैट विल नॉट मेक अ डिफरेंस टू अ म्यूजिक वी एज लॉन्ग एज इंस्टिंक्टिवली यू नो व्हाट इज व्हाट राइट दीस आर थिंग्स व्हिच आर अ लिटिल मोर स्ट्रक्चरल अ लिटिल मोर यू कैन क्वांटिफाई देम यू कैन नोटेट देम right but when we move to for example the groove it's the uh, you know like joy said and others said it's the feel it's the pocket what we, pocket is a very commonly used word for a drum uh, pattern it's a sense of uh, for example push and pull hip hop has a lot of that right it's like whether it's dragging or it's ahead of the beat or behind the beat a sense of flow somebody you said flow that was the you know exact right word and the interaction between the various elements now elements will lock together in the way that feels cohesive and it pushes the track forward now pushes doesn't mean ahead of the beat it can also be behind the beat but it will move the rhythm or move the drum section forward and what is unsaid here is almost always it will tie in with your bass line because think of billy jean for example the starting of billy jean it's your drum pattern and it's your bass line and the reason they work so well together because your drum um your drum section whether it's electronica or acoustic will have a low end very often almost always um bass is also low end but they are low end in very different ways 
like you know a drum ka kick ka low end might have a snap to it so the attack is really fast bass might not cut you know uh, come in the way of that even then what you try to do is eq them a little differently or side chain them sometimes very subtly so that they don't clash but a groove locking in with a bass line is a beautiful thing and if you're if your production if you mute everything and play only the drums and the bass line with like you know mastering on and loud and limiting and it sounds really you know uh, rocking you i think half your job is done really important as when we talk about drum programming my job here is not to tell you ki you know 1 and 3 pe kick and you know 2 and 4 pe snare that is not what drum programming is that is that's a given but what goes beyond that in making a track which is timeless which is something that you listen to later and you say yaar maza aa gaya kya banaya tha you know so these things are important now you can change things within uh, the groove i spoke about ghost notes velocities creating dynamics very important syncopation i'll talk about syncopation as well so yeah like i said rhythm is notated and quantified groove is more felt and i think most of you do understand that you mentioned that more subtle is more nuanced i hope this is clear right so now moving on i also wanted to get into showing you some sessions um showing you like couple of my own projects and the thought process that went behind uh, doing those 